Mr. Crunchy Muncher here has come to the uh, hay room. We're working away and uh, I'm just dragging them along for chores actually because I think that it's good practice for him and uh, the idea that a horse can eat and <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard of a louder crunchy crunch horse. I think he snorted. You think so? I think I Might have. Some dust coming around trying to eat it. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, we're, we're working on uh, putting some hay bags here together, and so he's along for the ride after a short training session in the arena, actually. So uh, one of the things that you want to try to do is see if you can't try to pet your horse while they're eating, and a lot of the domesticated ones have no problem with it. But you'll find that when he goes to eat here, if I were to reach towards him, it really worries him. And so what we're doing is we're just acclimating him to the idea that... He, he uh, doesn't understand what's going on? Well, he figures they're probably going to ambush him and take his ear off or something. Because in the wild, you always got to be prepared. Always got to be prepared in the wild. You don't want to get eaten. Don't want to get eaten. And so, uh, you know, if I, could, if I could touch him gently, that would be really nice. That's okay. Keep making noise. Keep him making noise. He's got to learn the domesticated life. And this is one of the ways we do it. And I've done this with pretty much every horse. You just drag them around for chores. And uh, and that's what they've got to do. they just got to put up with some stuff. Come here, big guy. Down. Okay, so I'm not going to force him too much into things, but I do want him to kind of reach, reach over towards me a little, if he can. So I'll pull the rope a little. There we go. I like carts. There. Good boy. Fantastic. It's like there's a lot of food in here. How can I get some of that? That's brave. I like that. I'm going to just be patient. <laughs> it's coming along really well. Getting good practice in daily. Yeah, but stuff like this is still, even though it may seem you know, like not much to us, we might not think too much of it to them. It's a big thing. So, yeah, horses tend to get worried about gloves, hats, umbrellas, umbrellas for sure. Big coats, shadows, big coats and stuff. Yeah. He said that that one smells really good. No, no. No, no. Yeah. I like that. It's okay. So I ask him to just eat, eat the hay. He'd be fine with that. See, so a lot of this stuff is is good. It's good for no. That's a big fat no. Good boy. Good boy. Is the bag done? Um, can you check for holes? I'll check for holes. Okay, I'm gonna put him back then. We'll call this our short little training session done. I'm gonna ask him to back, back. Good boy. You wanna have another nibble or what? We'll put that in his face. Uh, I'll put that one in the sea bank for sure. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get him going. Um, Daddy? Yes. Now he's touching the cart, should we give it to the other horses? <laughs> he's okay. He's only had his nose on things. All right. Let's move back to his his paddock and... <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay, that's it for now. <laughs>